But starting with a pretty sad update, this tragic story. New Mexico police have completed the investigation into the fatal car crash that killed country star Kylie Ray Harris and 16-year-old Maria Cruz in September. The Taos County Sheriff's Office confirmed in a press release on Thursday that Harris was drunk behind the wheel and driving at incredibly high speeds before her vehicle collided with two others. A spokesperson for the Sheriff's Office reported, quote, data from the car's onboard computers showed Ms. Harris's speed at 102 miles per hour at the time of the first collision event before crossing into the oncoming lane and striking Ms. Cruz's vehicle at 95 miles per hour. Authorities also noted that a toxicology report indicated that Harris's blood alcohol concentration was 0.28, which is three times the legal limit for impaired driving. In the wake of the authorities' findings, Harris's family spoke of their sadness that alcohol contributed to the loss of two lives. Here's what they had to say in a comment to People. Quote, the family of Kylie Ray Harris received the toxicology report and deeply regret that alcohol contributed to the tragic deaths of Maria Elena Cruz and Kylie. No family should have to endure the heartbreak of losing a child. In September, the Taos County Sheriff's Office told People in a statement that Harris was traveling south on State Road 522 in a black Chevrolet Equinox when she struck a black Chevrolet Avalanche from behind. The impact of the crash was the cause of death for both Harris and Cruz who were pronounced dead at the scene. That's according to authorities. The other driver was not seriously injured in that crash. A sheriff told people at the time that Ms. Cruz was an innocent victim of this senseless crash caused by Ms. Harris. Days after the fatal accident, Harris's mother, Betsy, revealed to people that alcohol was, quote, something that Kylie struggled with on and off over the years, but she declined to share more details out of respect to both families. A week after the tragedy, Harris was mourned by her friends and family at a celebration of life service where her six-year-old daughter, Corby, gave a heartbreaking tribute performance to her mother. She decided to sing Harris's song 20 years from now alongside country singer Bonnie Bishop. It's a song that Harris initially wrote for Corby. That song holds a much different meaning now to Corby, of course, who was the center of Harris's world, according to her mom. Betsy told People that Harris, quote, loved Corby beyond everything. She's a wonderful girl, and hopefully her message will continue to live on. Really heartbreaking story.